Hey, what is going on guys, and it is your boy Venix here today, and what I have on screen for you guys is a little nuke, a little de-atomizer in Tactical TDM. This is the uh, boots on the ground game mode, sort of, of Infinite Warfare. It's boots on the ground in the sense that you can't double jump, however, you can wall run as you'll see in this gameplay here and there, and I feel as if I'm glad they left a wall running in. I don't know, I'm not sure, I feel as if it speeds up the gameplay pace, and Infinite Warfare, just looking at it from a raw point of view, it's a really fast game, the sprint out times are super quick, the mantle times are super quick, and on top of that, you can pretty much fire your weapon while it's doing anything, whether you're mantling, throwing a grenade, uh, sprinting, if you run it with gun ho, there's so many options, and it's really actually a fast paced game, and I think I've done well with this game, with this tactical TDM, there's a health reduction, which I don't really understand why, I feel as if the health settings for Infinite Warfare are already pretty low when it comes to the time to kill. However, they've decided to reduce the health by about 25%, which I actually don't mind because I feel as if I do a lot better uh, in Tactical TDM than I do in any other game mode in Infinite Warfare. But recently, I've actually been having a lot of fun. Uh, my buddy Xerox have been playing with a heap. You'll see him in this gameplay as well. You'll see him pop up in the kill feed here and there. Uh, yeah, we've been playing a lot. We've been grinding really, really hard. I think I've been through about maybe, what, two prestiges in the past two weeks. So we've really been grinding out the game and I've really been enjoying Tactical TDM. And there's been rumours and whatnot, and I'm sure you would have heard about Call of Duty 2017 and the speculation involved. And, you know, apparently it's going to be boots on the ground in Vietnam. I don't know if you guys have heard, but there's been plenty of rumours, a few teasers here and there. But before we jump into that, I just want to, you know express this to you guys and bring this to your concern, okay? We still have 11 months of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Alright, 11 months. That is near a year. This game is very young. DLC 1 hasn't even dropped yet, and here we are speculating about the next Call of Duty. And yes, I understand this COD didn't go too well over with the community, you know, there was a lot of backlash, and you can even see that on the uh, reveal trailer itself on YouTube. The amount of dislikes speak for itself, okay? But we are only in January. We have to wait till November for Call of Duty 2017. And who knows what that will be. You know, speculation and guessing is always fun and whatnot, but we should appreciate the current COD and play it for what it is, okay? Yes, it's not the greatest Call of Duty in the world, but yes, at the same time, it's still not the worst, all right? So let's just appreciate this game for what it is, and when 2017 comes, well, we are in 2017. When November 2017 comes, we will play that game then, and hopefully it is a boots on the ground game mode. That's why I thought I'd bring you guys this gameplay, just because it's fitting with this, and I feel as if we should appreciate the current game, which is Infinite Warfare, but then again, at the same time, look forward to, hopefully, a better experience on Call of Duty. Personally, I am a little bit divided with the uh, advanced movement. Sometimes I feel as if, yes, I'd love to play Boots on the Ground, but then other times I want to duke people and fly around in the air and scuff jump kids with it. You know, like, it's really enjoyable sometimes, and you can outplay a lot of enemies. It does increase the skill gap, which is always a good thing in Call of Duty. But then again, it also, you know, can be, get a little bit chaotic and just insane sometimes. So this gameplay is coming to a close, sort of. I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of my class right now, because some of you guys always like to know. So, the class setup I was running is Ghost, Scavenger, Hardline, and Marksman, and the gun, of course, you see on screen is the NV4, what else are you guys going to get it with? And, of course, the standard attachments, suppressor, stock, and quick draw. Quick draw is dominant on ARs, I tell you, run it if you're not. Anyway, guys, that's the gameplay, there's the nuke, hopefully you guys did all enjoy. If you guys are new around here, click that red shine subscribe button, and as always, have oh, a triple... Marvelous day. Oh, did you see that feed at the end? Holy fuck! I've no need to fight tonight, tonight.